Chapter 1 Early Calculating Devices Learning Objectives Early Calculating Devices Generations of Computers Modern Computer Devices Early Calculating Devices Following are some of the early developed calculating devices. Stones, sticks and fingers. Early men used sticks and stones in counting. Even today, we use fingers for counting at times. But using fingers is difficult to count more than the number of fingers. A man has only ten fingers and ten toes. It seems that this limitation of counting with fingers made him to construct counting devices. A baker's. This was the first counting device. The abacus is a manual aid for calculating that consists of beads or discs that can be moved up and down on a series of sticks or strings with a usually wooden frame. By moving appropriate beads, one could do addition and subtraction and represent various numbers. It was developed in 3500 BC. Napier Bones in 1617, shortly before his death, Napier developed a mechanical method for performing multiplication and division as well as addition and subtraction. This method is based on Arab mathematics. This method is known as Napier's bones. Pascalin the first mechanical calculator was invented by Blaise Pascal in 1641. It consisted of rectangular box with eight movable wheels. It was capable of performing addition and subtraction. Jacquard's loom J. M. Jacquard invented a powered loom in 1801. It was a machine that weaved complex fabric design. It was the first machine that used punch cards. Each card contained the same number of rows and columns. These punch cards control the weaving enabling an ordinary workman to produce the most beautiful patterns in a style previously accomplished only with patience, skill and hard work. Babbage Engines In 1830, English mathematician Charles Babbage proposed a steam driven calculating machine. He called it the difference engine. It could compute tables of numbers like logarithms and navigation tables. He was the first to conceptualize and design a fully programmable mechanical computer. Later he developed another machine that he called the analytical engine. Hallreth Census Machine Herman Hallreth was an American statistician and inventor of a counting machine to count the population of USA. It was based on punch cards. He was the founder of the tabulating machine company that later merged to become IBM. Modern Computer Devices The first digital electronic computer ABC the Adams of Barry computer was the first automatic electronic digital computer. The Adams of Barry computer was later named as ABC. It was the first computer prototype to use vacuum tubes instead of mechanical switches. It was designed by John V. Atensaw and Clifford E. Barry. He used the binary number systems like a modern computer. Harvard Mark I, the IBM Automatic Sequence Controlled Calculator, ASCC, is called Mark I. It was developed by Harvard H. Aiken. It was the first fully automated electronic computer that was moved reliable than early machines. It marks the beginning of the era of the modern computer and the real dawn of the computer age. NEX and UNIVAC. ENIAC, 
or electronic numerical integrator is the first electronic general purpose digital computer. It was invented by John Presper Eckert and John Mockley at the University of Pennsylvania. It could be programmed to solve different computing problems. Mockley and Eckert later developed an Univec, Universal Automated Computer. It was the first commercial electronic computer developed in 1951. It could work with numeric as well as with text data. Generations of Computers The developed electronic computer took place in five distinct phases, known as Generation of Computers. In each generation, computers got better, smaller, cheaper, and more powerful than those of previous generations. Decrease in Size With each generation, the size of computers became smaller. Cost Computers became more cheaper and hence accessible to more people with each generation. Increase in Speed the the computing speed increased with each generation. Storage capacity. The computer memory increased with every generation. Electricity consumption. Heat generated by the machines became lesser. They consumed lesser electricity in each generation. Accuracy. With each generation computers became more and more error free. Each new generation of modern computer has resulted in following changes. Features of first generation 1940 to 1956 based on vacuum tubes consumed lot of electricity very large in size and very costly needed air conditioning to keep the machine cool and non-portable slow input and output